Welcome to Travel Guide and Photography. I'm Larry, your host. If you're new to the channel, thank you and welcome. If you're returning to the channel, thank you and welcome back. We're doing something a little bit different this week. I've been asked by a lot of people, what's it like to live in Thailand? So my wife, Pua, and I, I can say wife because we got married last week, we're going to show you exactly what it's like. But we are showing you the rural country life in Thailand. The name of this new playlist is called Country Life in Northeast Thailand. This is not Bangkok, it's not Pattaya, it's not the beaches, it's not the mountains near Chiang Mai and Pai. This is in Northeast Thailand, it's farmland, we are surrounded by rice paddies and jungle. So we're going to show you exactly what it's like to live here. Pla was born and raised here. So we're going to take you through the town, through the community. Uh, we're going to take you on this first episode out through the countryside itself. We live on a dirt road surrounded by rice paddies and jungle. And I take a whole five mile or an eight kilometer hike every morning. So that's what we're going to show you on this first episode. I hope you enjoy it. Again, thank you, welcome, and enjoy country life in Northeast Thailand. Welcome to Travel Guide and Photography. I thought what I would do today is show you a little bit about where we live and my morning hike. I'm going to start doing a series on Nawa itself. I live in Northeast Thailand. Uh, it's very rural. We live at the very edge of a very small farming community here. Right at the edge of town. Down that road is town. And down this way are a few scattered houses and mostly everything is rice paddies and a little bit of farmland. And this is what I do every morning. So come with me, we'll take a walk through the rural countryside of Nawa, Thailand. This is just a couple minutes from our house, but I thought I'd show you this rice paddy here. Uh, the season's over, so all the rice has been knocked down. Different rice grows at different times of the year. There's a nicer little house there. Down there is where we came from. And here's one of the sheds that people kind of hang out during the season when they're harvesting the rice. This is one of the houses at the beginning of the road here. I usually stop, feed the dogs. They're in here preparing some corn that they harvested from the field. Sawadikap. Sabadi mai. Sadi. A little bit further down the road here, there's a couple of people, one with a motorbike, one with a bicycle. We're going to head out this field and catch up with them. From what Pla tells me, they are hunting crab. So they're looking for crab. Let's go down and take a look. Pla. Yes, we're going to see. Apparently the crab are in the moist ground where this rice paddy used to flourish. Now it's dried up after the harvest. Yes. So they're using a stick here to hunt for crab. Sawadee kap. Kap. Sabadee mai. Yeah. The crab is used for their meals. They're small crab, from what I've seen, maybe about two inches across. Mm. 
Well, we're going to continue down the road here a little bit, see what else we can find. As they weren't as successful right now, but they'll keep at this for most of the day, supplying food for their family. Again, a little further down the road, we're about probably 20 minutes into our hike here this morning. This is one reason I love Thailand so much. It's just absolutely beautiful. Now this still looks nice now, but all the rice has been harvested a few months ago. If you can think about this in your mind, what this place would look like, bright green is where you see all this brown is bright green. Okay, as you can tell, we're coming up to a structure here, always protected by dogs. You can hear all of them barking. Couple out there. Got a handful more here. And one of the tricks is to feed the dogs. So I always bring treats out here and throw them at the dogs. Swati cop. Claude just told me that they start growing in May and June and they harvest in October and November. So all of this just covered with rice. So right here at the edge of this field is banana. What else, Pa? Coconut. Coconut. What's mango? At the at back there? Mango, what is it? Papaya. Oh, papaya. Oh, the papaya tree. Yes, and and banana and coconut. Okay, a little further down the road here. This is a really, really pretty tree. I'd like to have one of these in our yard. What is this called, Pla? Pontakop. Yes, and Okay, she's saying that this is. Yeah. Yes, she's saying this is uh, one of the bird's favorite trees because right now, if we take a close look, you can see the flowers and you can see the beginning of some little berries on it. And it's a favorite of the birds once these ripen because the berries are very, very sweet. Hello. Yes, sweet red color, she says here. And then this is bamboo. And bamboo. And then a little irrigation ditch. And we're going to go to the end of this road here. Leo Kwa? Yes. Leo Kwa. We're going to turn to the right and follow this down for a little while. Okay, we're about 30 minutes from the house here. And then. Right across this little irrigation canal is a person's home. This is for fishing here. So you can see the net. What you can't see is back on the other side of those trees is a cornfield. So this is how people live out here in rural Thailand. So one of my favorite things to do is go for walks out here and just enjoy the countryside and what Thailand is all about. I don't know if you can see the colors on this, just really, really beautiful tree that Pla spotted here. It's called a dish flower. Dish flower. Dish flower, okay. Dok San? Yes, Dok San. Dok San. Yes. So that's the name of this tree in Isan, she says. We speak Isan in this area of Thailand um, because we're very close to the Lao border. So Dixan is dish flower. That's what this tree is. Oh yes. There's a guy's coming through there with really a nice sized rat, about the size of a cat that he killed on his land. Leo Sai. Leo Sai. 
เรียวซ้ายเรียวขวาท่องไปเรียวซ้ายเรียวขวาตรงไปเดี๋ยวคนคนหนึ่งที่อยู่ในห้องนี้เขาบอกว่าเขาจะกินฟลาสซาเดอร์ที่เขาทำในวันนี้วันนี้เดี๋ยวกันลองบีนส์คุณเห็นบางต้นก็เกิดที่นี่ดีดีมากดีคล้ายๆบีนส์ในอเมริกาผมคิดว่าและนี่คือลิมมอนกราสอีกหนึ่งหนึ่งของสเตปเปิลนี่ในไทยแลนด์และทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่วทั่ว It is a fang orange tree. It doesn't have fruit, but the trunk is so large. What they do is they'll make like a dining table off of this or an end table off of this. Just a beautiful, beautiful tree. Tell me, Isan. Tell me, Isan. This is a tree of bananas. Yes, they use 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 bananas. So, yes. Pla, what is this tree called? Name Isan? Name Isan, Tonklada. Tonklada. Yes. Tonklada, which is the tree they use to make paper out of. I'm really glad Pla came with me on this walk because I've been walking this trail here for three paper years tree. and I don't know hardly any of this stuff. Paper tree. So, paper tree. Yes. Okay, Tong Pai. And this is tamarind, so a tamarind tree. Tamarind tree, yes, tamarind tree. Which is one of Pla's favorites. She always has tamarind, and eating that at home, both the seed pods and the fruit itself. We're just taking a short hike today, so we're going to turn around, head back down to the house. Okay, on the way back, we're stopping back at that person's little garden here. And Pla was telling me that they use this tree here. What kind of tree? Neem flower. Flower, yes. Neem flower. So this is, they eat this, the flowers? Neem flower. Neem flower. Yes, neem okay. flower. And they use for soup or for eating? For eating. Eating? Yes. Bitter. Oh, it's very bitter. Bitter. Yeah, so they used to flavor soup? Yes. They used to flavor soup, stir fry? Yeah, stir fry, yes. Okay. Pla just told me that this little irrigation canal here has some very big fish in it. She was very, very strenuous about saying it has very big fish. Uh, we have a small fish pond at our property, and uh, this is tilapia. This is where most fish here. They also have catfish, but again, she was very insistent that this canal here has very big fish. Here we're back at the structure here that had the little fish pond, and coming this way, you always notice something different when you're walking from a different vantage points. Nice little garden here. Okay, I'm going to give you a close look of this charcoal can. Sweaty cap. Big rat. Oh. Big rat stir fry. Stir fry rat. Yes, stir fry rat. Okay. Soup. Sweaty cap. So over here is their charcoal. You see a couple logs. Sitting out here, I've seen it going before, different type of year. But they make this big earthen mound, and this is where they get charcoal for their fires. Lamduan. <laughs> no. My name Lamduan. Lamduan. Yes. Lamduan. Lamduan and Mom Mem. Mom Mem. Yes. Okay. Did you give them treat? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
กับคุณกาบกาบโอเค we're back at our house and this is our land so this is the front Wow, let's go through the garden. Hmm? Go through the garden. Hmm? Salad. Salad, yes, lettuce. Mm. Green onions. Green onions. Morning glory. Morning glory. Yes, kale. Kale. Yes, and tomatoes. Tomatoes back there. Be careful, be careful. Thai coriander. More green onions here. This is an outside bathroom for the family that comes and tends the garden. It's uh, our motorbikes. It also houses our washing machine, which we had installed. About a month ago, we'll bring that out on the back side of the house. People build us a nice clothesline made out of bamboo. We go down the side of the house here. Actually, we have a lot of plants in here too. Uh, we have an avocado tree there. We have long beans. We have chilies back there. This is uh, eggplant. Um, planted a lemon tree about a year and a half ago there. Hopefully it'll start giving fruit soon. I think this is passion fruit right here. We'll go out here in the back and take a look. p e o p e who is like family planted a bunch of corn right here said it'll be ready for harvest in about a week for a lot of the stocks here so we get some fresh corn back in here also is all planted with rice May or June harvested in October November this is actually where we're building our house we're buying this land when I get back from my next ship probably in January That's going to be our view there, depending on the time of the year. The sun sets anywhere from there. Right now, it's setting right over in there. So back up towards the house. Mango trees. Passion fruit here, passion fruit tree. This is uh, just a little gazebo here that overlooks our fish pond. There are some really, really big tilapia in this fish pond. Come out here. There's another lemon tree that I planted. This one's lime. It's been giving fruit for quite a few years. So I come out here. I have fresh limes. Planted another lemon tree here, and another lemon tree here. Avocado here. We planted three coffee trees last year. La really likes coffee, loves her cappuccino. So about three years, we start to get beans off of these. So we got one there, got another one there, another one back there. About six different types of mango trees here on the property. Pineapple. We got one pineapple. I don't know. I guess you call it a bush pineapple plant. And another pineapple there, another pineapple there. These are avocado trees. And then Paul's taking us to the passion fruit again. Oh, okay, there we go. Nice passion fruit. Okay. This is it. And this is the entrance to our house where we're renting now. Been here for about three years, and looking forward to 
and another year and a half to two years we'll have our land and build our house. 